Now, over the years, Nigel and I have been producing a book on knots. And it doesn't mean that all the knots in this book are knots that we've developed. But what we've done, we fish all around the country and sometimes around the world. We've met a lot of guys that have developed really, really good fishing knots. And what's going to happen today, my mate Mick here, Mick Caulfield, is going to show me a knot that he's developed called the BD knot, which is an ideal knot to join braid to a leader. Now everyone needs to know a really good knot for braid to leader. And you were saying to me, Mick, this knot, this BD knot, is ideal for light line fishing. Terrific. Where it's always just a little bit too difficult to use an FG knot. Yep. And this BD knot, I've seen it, it's awesome. And, it, and it's so close to being as good as an FG knot. So go through it, Mick, show us what it is. No worries. So this is our leader, the yellow line is our leader. So you want to form about 200 mil of tag in your hand, form a loop, introduce your braid into the loop, give yourself a working distance of probably 150 to 660 mil, like that. I use this finger and I treat those two tags as one. Rotate the tag 16 times one. 16. After you do that, it's simply a matter of pulling the tag through twice, it's once, around both pieces of material. Gotcha. And then this is the most important part, the cinching, cinching of the knot. Because as I said before, Bill, it, it's a, a bit like a nail knot, it tightens from the inside. Yep. And you need to pull it up holding both the tag and the main line of the leader and the tag and the main line of the uh, gel sponge. Yep. Normally when I get to this stage, I would normally wet it, but I won't yep. for the camera. So just cinch it down the last part of it. So none of them tags, none of them loops will overtake. And to pull it up, just main line and leader. That's it. And if you look at that closely, that is just one awesome neat knot. In fact, it's actually, to me, probably neater than an FG. 